hello and welcome to another class video so in this series now we are class 0 to 5 and in this video I'm going to show a uh, project that is fetching data from Google sheet into web app uh, like this one this is the project I'm doing and let me show you what is this so this is the web app and whatever the data you see are coming from actually uh, from Google sheet we can adjust number of item you want to show like uh, 10 entries so now we have 10 entries 25 25 50 and then 100 up to so if more than 100 is there then you can actually go to next page previous page and last page and so on so this is interesting and you can short um, the heading as well rating high to low or low to uh, high to low and low to high and then review um, low to high and high to low book title sort with the alphabet uh, you know a b c you see and then numbers number of pages type uh, okay and then prices obviously high to low and low to high I don't know so uh, also you can search amazing thing like for example you want to search something with 3d right so you 3d type here and all of the item has 3d now for example C++ the item with the C++ is here right now so this uh, is amazing project if you see uh, if you don't want you know your Google sheet to be shared and edited by anyone uh, you can use google app to share your google sheet data in this format so no one can actually modify directly uh, your google sheet so let me start uh, so this is uh, google sheet copy this google sheet let's open uh, this one a project mm, better I would say create a project in this user to class project and this is LSP 0 to 6 and let's go to that folder CD enter so now we are in the project of class 0 to 6 and we want to open bro uh, the google sheet in the browser um, this is the account uh, make it small uh, use this tab Oops, no sorry uh, 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 uh. copy so this is the sheet um, hmm. problem with that it's not using this account it's this account okay I close this thing not required not required not required okay so this is the data it's actually copied from someone else but anyway I will go through so that um, as I go along I can understand better and someone might be able to get it so this is um, Google display Google sheet data in web app if we open here the script editor It's taking a long time. Huh? You see, uh, this has no uh, script. So where it is, this sheet is independent. That means your project can be attached to any sheet. Your uh, app script project is independent. It's a, a standalone project. 
that's why here I have different you know app script link so this is the project link and where is this I can open separate tab for uh, editing so this is my app script uh, this is created by this uh, you have this and I I'm just using it mm -hmm. so nothing much actually uh, you have the HTML uh, template and it includes a JavaScript uh, file that is javascript.html using this include function and this function is within this Google sheet uh, app script so it's serving that content uh, rest get data is actually getting data from that sheet you see the ID is mentioned here spreadsheet ID this ID you have to change uh, the right now this is the ID and with YHC oops um, how come hmm. so let me change it again copy uh, so it's fetching data has uh, as of now from the original editor so now I have changed to my Google sheet uh, ID data a2 to F a2 that is the second row uh, this one to F and F has no uh, numeric uh, cell number so that means until uh, the last row until the last row means uh, last row where the data is there and then it's actually opening the spreadsheet range and uh, getting the values and returning the values so where this data is going going let's go to index um, and here table data is added by show data javascript function above show data javascript function the inside this that is javascript so we will come here show data and show data uh, is executing and uh, this is done after executing the get data so uh, you see um, once the get data function that means this one data fetching from that data range is returned successfully in this function then the, with this with the success handler this function is executed um, and it has uh, very simple data table uh, and is uh, giving the table format like rating reviews and so on so where I have shown you this one you see rating review book title and number of pages uh, type and price so you have six uh, column so you have you see six columns it's so simple I love it now uh, we are going to use class of course so to cla use class we have to go to the setting of app script copy this ID script ID and do this uh, instru uh, command line instruction clone and then sorry first you have to log in C L A S B. every time you you want to use class we have to use the clasp and then log in so you're going to use uh, the clasp uh, gmail account uh, this account so you have to give permission to allow change modification from the class tool within your uh, command line interface you can close it after you logged in so you get something like this after login now you use the class instruction clone and paste the id id is this one the script id enter it once you enter the cloning uh, started and all the files uh, will be copied into this folder class folder let me show you it's copied here 
um it's a good practice that you use some kind of uh, uh, clasp ignore file like this one so that um, it does not um, uh, uh, what is called upload uh, unnecessary files like copy this one and I want to add folder into workspace uh, 26 or 25 35 okay uh, so I would like to copy and paste that uh, class ignore so it's actually same file you can use mul in multiple project hmm. I'm not going into detail you can uh, find it online and then here is our code it's uh, cloned from the online everything is same whatever you have seen here uh, in this script project all the three files code index javascript so you see code index and javascript this one is the app script json and it is uh, having a json format object format with uh, some information then class json has a script id that uh, just you cloned from online account google account so that's it actually after it is done if you want to modify anything in your project for example let's go to javascript this one <laughs> with failure handler So, uh, for example, you want to use this functions get data something like that. For example, you want to add um, Google. Is it right? Uh, okay, so let me copy this something like this and you want to create another function uh, for example here function this one uh, this alert fail mm, to get data okay so this is executed if the function uh, get data is failed okay um that's it uh, we are going to upload the data updates and update is done with the same uh, with the class and then push and that's it So now you have uh, latest you have to refresh your browser of course and if you go to JavaScript uh, now you have new function on failure here um, how you're going to deploy it if you want to see the previous deployments you can see here you have one single deployment right you can see from clasp tool as well clasp deployment and it will list all the de previous deployments uh, something is wrong uh -huh. my 
my spelling is bad clasp deployment hmm so my something was wrong with the spelling i hope deployment ah is there so now uh, this is the previous uh, deployment now if i want to deploy my current code i have to use this clasp deploy that's it of course you don't need to put comment with this sort but if you wish to put a comment you can add uh, a comment also so that uh, you get uh, something like uh, this uh, here you get a comment description here but uh, first repeated and te during testing just casual testing i don't put comment uh, because i know uh, it's not my final project anyway so you have this uh, new deployment second deployment i can use this web app url and that's that's it i get the application ready it's working right so i hope you get how to use the uh, class tool another thing is uh, when you use this application with uh, another browser like uh, another account someone has opened like this this is my another google account if i want to use that web app in this um probably it will not work actually uh, for that let me show you uh, how you can avoid this kind of error uh, this is done within this uh, setting here actually uh, you see you have to edit it and then who has access it this one you have to change to anyone anyone this one and then just deploy one once more okay so now you get the web url uh, that can be accessed by anyone over internet from anywhere okay so still i get this uh, macros let me close this oh, i should not check the address copy web app done page not found stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay let me do a redeployment another time okay so this is third deployment and i'm going to use this uh, you know deployment id and go there replace it let's just test it whether it's working hmm something is not right refresh it manage copy deploy i uh, sorry copy url and uh, then test it yes so it is working um, i have to actually deploy uh, after changing the deployment settings uh, like from uh, me to any other like uh, let me show you here so after you change this setting you have to deploy again from here and that's uh, it or from here that way now this url can be accessed by anyone over internet thanks for watching hope you like this video